Okay, I'm outside. We did a little bit of welding with a plastic piece up here that was just sheared here from when he dropped it. This is the front of the cowl. This is the top where the windshield is. I'm using some Gator flexible sanding pads. It's, uh, what, what is this here? What is the, the grip? Where can I see here? I think it's like 220 or something. Fine grip, but uh, it's nice and it's flexy. You can use an orbital or a sander, but uh, you just want to rough up the, the surface so it'll grab some of the pine on the paint. So use some alcohol spray to get all the bugs and the grime off before you sand it so you're not sanding bug guts. Okay, I hate sanding, but I'm scuffing it up with the pad. I'm not really worried like typical spray painting with the pattern, and, but I just wanted to scuff it up so it'll adhere and grab the primer and the Raptor bed liner spray. But this is what it looks like, and it's scary looking to me, but I want it to be able to adhere and grab and have places to uh, to uh, bond to the plastic. Okay, sanded and scuffed. So what I'm gonna do is take a regular, regular towel, kind of buff it out. The dust, you can take air, your air compressor. I'm gonna take a look and see what it looks like scuffed up. Kind of scuffed up if I am not I got some nice other places I, I can scuff it up some more. And once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go back and use uh, isopropyl alcohol spray and a tack rag. And also you can buy this product, which is a prep spray. I think it does the same thing, cleans and degreases bare surfaces. So I'll probably, before painting, do the alcohol, spray it, and then I'm gonna try this. I think it's just a fancy name for alcohol maybe it has for, for uh, safe on metal plastic surfaces so uh, it can bond and then I'm gonna use a uh, primer uh, Raptor 1k pro primer put that on and then we'll do the Raptor product itself stripper down some more you're gonna have to use a 12 millimeter uh, socket to remove the silver plate that goes along here there's a rail there's uh several bolts that hold it here and here and here and then the side fairings the rear side fairings there's like a couple of screw uh phillips screws up underneath um and on the side and just just take your time and then but the back cowl brake light I had to use a uh, 10 millimeter that went here and here and also there was um, some Phillips screws holding uh, I'm sorry um, on the side uh, on the side of it you're gonna have to unplug this and then for me to remove the tail lights and everything there's more Phillips screws so then I'm gonna remove those so then I can uh, sand this down and spray it so I don't I don't I just rather have the lights out of the way and so when I'm sanding it and spraying it instead of having to try to tape it off so all right and this is what your silver wing looks like super super naked sides if you really want to look I can put Girl, stripped it down and it helps to take pictures and video so you know where pieces are up. I'm gonna have to take that piece off too. So, with this one, I believe there's an Allen wrench there and possibly here, so I can take this off, sand that down, and spray that too. But continue on with the super naked skeleton. You ever want to know what it looks like underneath there? The pieces go, the coolant, 
your uh, emergency brake, fuel, fuel lines, brake lines, your uh, footrests, um, supports. And, uh, yeah. Looks scary, but take your time. Give yourself plenty of time. I'm going to, uh, since I have it off, I'm just going to, you might as well clean everything off before I put it in and then I believe what I'm going to do with the silver part here is uh, I'm going to take it off and I'm probably going to uh, wrap it with a carbon fiber um, type of wrap this also and then leave this silver possibly and then the top bar so it'll have some accents I did have to take the the sticker off there was a sticker here that said Honda I mean, I'm not necessarily heartbroken. I mean, it kind of sucks, but oh well, it'll kind of look cool. And then you have to take your time taking this side off. You're going to have to remove plastic thing for the key. This pops off. You rotate the cylinder when it's inside the fairing. I had to rotate it backwards to get this off and then kind of like separate all the pieces so you can get it apart and then uh, basically and then uh, I also seen that if you close it and you're like oh I'm gonna get scared because I can't have the key all you have to do is pull this and voila and pop it so because I was kind of concerned if I was going to leave this overnight and then that light would stay on so I'll be able to close it for the night because then I'm going to prep everything, sand everything more down, and then I'll spray tomorrow, and we'll see. Taking the letters off, the side fairings, you can use a hair blower, heat it up, or a heat gun, and then a 5-in-1 tool, but the 5-in-1 tool, and then what you can do is basically run a knife underneath there and there's double-sided tape underneath there very thin one and then you can just buy some 3m double-sided tape to replace it when you go to put it back so add that to to buy list right so i'm just gonna take my time a little out of time here just got a regular utility knife see that just making sure i don't twist it and pop it up because this is just plastic chrome and there we have it one-handed too so and then i'm gonna have to use some cleaner and scrape that off with a knife and then uh so i can prep it for the raptor spray okay i got a power washer next door running i got a small little air compressor running about 60 but as soon as I pull the trigger it drops so uh, when you uh, hook it up the U-pull sprayer you know spray without the can just whip it down and then just play with the pressure so you can have consistency I'm running 60 psi and then I use the hardener pour the hardener to the specifications and to the to the bottle and I like the I got a whole bunch of parts in and out here. I got my raccoon trap, but this is 60 PSI or whatever. This is a front fender. So hopefully I can 